This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a paper jam error message on your computer. Clear the paper jam from the back of the printer first. Remove the paper from the input tray. Then, press the power button to turn the printer off. Next, go to the back of the printer and unplug the power cord. Remove the rear access door and check the printer for jammed paper. Remove the paper by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reinsert the rear access door into the printer. Then go to the front of the printer. Check to see if paper is jammed in the front. Be careful when removing paper from the front. It can damage the printer. Open the top cover of the printer. Gently remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all of the small pieces that may tear off. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for any pieces of paper that may remain. If all the pieces of paper are not removed from the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Use a flashlight to make sure you have removed all the small pieces of paper from inside of the printer. When you've removed the paper, close the top cover and go to the back of the printer. Plug the power cord back in, then go to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Once the printer has stopped making noises, lift the top cover of the printer. The carriage might try to move into the center of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. Go to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Go to the front of the printer. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Make sure the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it to the left and then to the right. This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. If any obstructions are found while moving the carriage, remove them from the printer. Close the top cover of the printer. Go to the back of the printer and reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Go to the front of the printer. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn the printer on. Try printing a self-test page. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from paper dust, ink, and oil from your fingers. In this step, we'll clean them. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloth, clean cotton swabs, and clean water to dampen the cloth. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Go to the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Remove the printer's rear access door. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Use your finger to turn the rollers toward the printer. Make sure you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the roller. Look for the paper pick rollers farther inside the rear of the printer. Clean the rollers with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. These rollers are difficult to reach, but are very important to clean. While the rear access door is off, check the rollers on the door. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could mean the rollers aren't feeding paper and that the rear access door needs to be replaced. 
Reinsert the printer's rear access door. Plug the power cord back in and go to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Lift the top cover of the printer. The carriage will move into the access area. Go to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Go to the front of the printer. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Make sure the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it to the left and then to the right. This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. If any obstructions are found while moving the carriage, remove them from the printer. Close the top cover of the printer. Go to the back of the printer and reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Go to the front of the printer. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn the printer on. Try printing a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. Perform a power reset by first removing all of the paper in the input tray. Make sure that the printer is on. If it's off, press the power button to turn it on. Go to the back of the printer. Without turning the power off, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Pull the power cord from the wall outlet. Wait 15 seconds, then reinsert the power cord into the wall outlet. Next, plug the power cord into the printer. If the printer does not turn on by itself, press the power button to turn it on. Try printing a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.